doctors to use robots to check up on their patients by remote control. Yes, it is true. Our Dr. Emily Sine is here with the tales. Wow. Was, it, we've heard of RoboCop. It was just a matter of time until they invented RoboDoc. Many doctors spend a lot of time shuttling between offices and hospitals to see patients and make rounds. Now there's a new robot that's taking care of some of the legwork, and it's making a debut in a few hospitals around the country where it's being studied to see if it can help patients as well as doctors. Oh, that's good. Well, let me People are seeing the Mr. new Mr. face of medicine out. around Centara Norfolk General Hospital in Virginia these days. A robot that's helping doctors make the rounds. Hey, Paul. We're able to see our patients anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day. Well, those look pretty good. Urologist Dr. Michael Fabrizio right. operates the robot by remote control okay. from a Take computer console in his office or home to check up on oh, his good. patients. Okay, that works out great then. Let's go say hi to him. We're able to uh, interact with the nurses 24 hours a day. We're able to physically go in and discuss the patient's care, uh, look at their incisions. Uh, it really gives us great access to the patients. Prostate surgery patient Paul Rist is happy with his robotic experience. If it's going to enable you to see them even more than what you might see them, then I think it's a phenomenal tool. Dr. So, how are you doing? I would hope that we're not totally taking the personal touch out of it. I think, I think medicine is, is a field that has always got to have a personal touch in it. The robot comes with built-in safety measures to prevent collisions. Around the base are sensors, 360 degrees that uh, detect any objects that are approaching the robotic face and that the robot will actually stop uh, before it hits that object. We can look down um, and look at our, our toes, if you will, and uh, we can also look up. And if I'm really trying to back up in a tight space, I can actually look all the way behind me and take a look to see exactly where I need to go. The hope is that studies will show robots actually improve patient care and reduce costs. If we utilize the rounding robot properly um, and efficiently, we can probably reduce the length of stay in patients. We've seen a reduction in their hospital stay of about 0.2 days. When you reduce 0.2 days in the hospital, and you're looking at the number of patients that we typically see in a year, you could save a million dollars a year um, uh, using a system like this. Uh, I'll see you back in the office. Sounds good to me. See you soon. Bye-bye. Another study plans to look at whether the robot is effective in the emergency room, especially when it comes to those long waits to see the doctor when you're not acutely ill. If only yeah. RoboDoc would fill out the paper paperwork. <laughs> We'd be Pretty way ahead yeah. of the game. Prescriptions and insurance. Yes. Company, no doubt. All right. Very interesting. I, I was sitting here the whole time going, that is so, so cool. cool. Isn't yeah. that cool? All right. <laughs>